Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Elma, Missouri, US. This is a new map out across platforms from Celebuki. 887.63 megabytes download. Alma is uh, in Lafayette County, Missouri. Population, as of the census 2010, 402, I think it said. Um, the railroad, it says established, 1879. That was when the railroad reached here. Um, it's very cool. I, this is one of those ones. I, I'm, I'm looking for a new map to start on. This one ticked a load of boxes for me. There's a load of custom stuff on here. Um, we've got the um, corn... Not texture, that's the wrong word for it. Um, yeah, it's texture, yeah. The corn maize texture from Benji FS has been included. Soybean grows in rows and you get soybean... Um, straw when you cut it. Um, there are no required mods for this map, however it does say it is swath ready. So the swathing mods that are available from BC Beulah Farms, it's advised that you download those if you want to do swathing. And the whole swathing thing, it, so it will work on here. They're not included, so you can go away and find them if you want to, which is very cool. Uh, the map looks like this. Um, we'll talk about the mods that have been installed by the map maker in a moment. We'll talk about slot count when we get down to the main farm. Uh, we've got some extra crop types added in. Well, let's look at the map first. On new farmer, we start with the main farm. So it's plot one, but it includes the main farm area, field three and field four, and plot eight, which is field nine. You start with that on new farmer. On farm manager and start from scratch, you don't. Here's the other thing to be aware of. On farm management start from scratch, you do not start with any of the buildings on this farm or any of the vehicles. Nothing at all. That's an open plot. When we get down there, I'll sh if I remember, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like with nothing on there. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. If you want that main farm, you're going to want to be on here on New Farmer. Uh, field prices, I mean, the most expensive, I'm going to be honest, they're not too bad. I mean, it's 901,000, it's not gone over a million, and they're big fields. But we have got some smaller ones, 66 grand there, we've got the little one there, 23,000, 58, 44,000. Then we've got some sort of mid ranges, 120, 200s, that one down the side, 121. So you can kind of gradually work your way up. Uh, we've got some grass fields and meadows, there's a little bit of forestry if you want to do a bit of forestry. Um, what is nice as well is the whole section down here and you've got houses and sort of the main, the city of Alma is down the main street. And this is what I always think of when I when you see television shows and, and films and things are um, in sort of Midwest US, well across the US, it's that town that's kind of one street with your shops and stuff all down either side of it, your, your general store and that kind of stuff. Then you've got your big grain mills and grain bins and then the farming. It, it's that. And it's done really, really well. But you can buy that entire plot that runs down there and down there, which takes in all the production chains and all the sell points and stuff. Uh, we've got a placeables point there that can be purchased fairly cheap. And this section here, which has got the railroad silo, transfer silo. Uh, we've got a couple of um, productions here as well. These can all be purchased as well. Um, so pretty much everything. We've got a couple of extra farms um, that can be purchased and what I'll do is I'll put some money in later on to do that. So if we come out of there we're going to our build mode under sheds. So under Alma, Missouri we've got a few different sheds to choose from that have been added in. Um, under silos we have got here the farm silo, that's a 400,000 litre, that's a standard silo plus, and I'll say plus because that takes in the extra crop types on this map. The extra crop types you've got on this map are rye, peas and alfalfa. So the silo is standard crop types, not multi-fruit, but it will take those extra crop types as well, as will the railroad silo, um, transfer silo too. But we've also got here, we've got these silos um, and they can be these have been put in because they will take alfalfa which can um, or an alfalfa hay which can then be um, turned into silage so if you're going to cut alfalfa these ones have been put in specifically for that that's what it says in the description i couldn't i couldn't find any of these 
actually on the map on the farms there there isn't a silage clamp unless i missed it but i did i couldn't find one uh if we come out of there and we go to farmhouses we've got the alma missouri farmhouse out on the end there then if we go up to there was nothing under productions but under greenhouses we've got greenhouses the greenhouses have got pumpkin as an addition which i think is just mint like that so pumpkin as in again i didn't find a plot again i might have missed it but i didn't find a plot with those greenhouses on i didn't find one on the farms anyway you don't start with one of the, the greenhouse production chains um but it's there so if you want to do greenhouses you can do pumpkin and some of the productions require it so you might want to stick some in which i think is nice it's not been overdone you've got the option to put them in if you want to assuming of course i haven't missed them um so that was under greenhouses and then we've got under animals under cows we've got a couple of animal pens the animal pens all take into account alfalfa and alfalfa hay as well uh under horses as well pigs sheep and chickens uh under decoration was nothing under landscaping there were a, f a few i mean yeah there are a few extra textures some animal mud and gravel and things thrown in on the end there and that's it as far as build mode goes but if we go into our vehicle options and we scroll down to mods and dlcs added in i've just realized what i forgot to put in how did that happen anyway under here we have got these so we've got um the mks8 and the mks32 tankers um these will do methane and propane which will become apparent later on so those have been put in to take those two extra things and there's um, sugar pallets now there's tons and tons of pallet mods out there that, that do various different pr products and there are multi um multi fruit buying stations and things like that but the map maker has put in um sugar pallet because if you don't want to run a sugar mill you can come and buy them but there is a cost implication to that like i said there are tons of other mods available that do provide sugar and sugar pallets so it's, it's up to you how you want to go about that but there's no sugar mill on the map um just so you're aware so if we come out of there so let's crack on shall we we do have our little john deere gator just here right by the welcome to alma sign but we are going to back up a little bit because right up here we've got the first of our cell points this is the sawmill now i did um when i came on here and did my kind of test drive around to familiarize myself this is um a standard sawmill lumber in planks out with wood chip as a byproduct um it's not pl a platinum expansion one that's not to say if you've got platinum expansion you've got it installed you can put anything you want down anywhere but as far as this goes even with the platinum expansion um, selected it's a standard sawmill hundred thousand to buy just up here what i'm loving about this the difference in textures now i know i think the only thing i'm, I'm missing I mean, it's a tiny tiny little thing but the thing I noticed immediately on here was the attention to detail. Now, it's not a packed map. It hasn't got tons and tons of stuff on here. But the level of detail with the sectioning of the roads, the sections you'll see when we drive along where you've got cracked um, roadway. But the difference between the gravel at the side of the road, the roadways, which the texturing looks absolutely fantastic. And then when you come off onto these kind of gravelly dirt tracks, when you're dry, I mean, it looks like a dusty, sort of almost compacted gravel, but it looks like a gravelly roadway. If there was a little bit of dust, a little bit of dust coming up, I think that would make all the difference. But when we go into this next section, you'll see what I mean. And it's that difference in textures that sort of brings the whole thing to life. The transition between these two surfaces and the cracked, it's, oh no, it's, it's not a new thing, it's, you know, but to, for this map as well, I just think it adds so much to it. it. Like I say, it brings the whole thing to life. So while we're driving down here, um, there is a custom crop calendar added in for the extra crop types. So if you've got seasons on, the seasonal growth on, we've got that. Uh, what else have we got? I'm just trying to look down. Talked about the swathing system. Um, soybeans in rows. Yep, talked about that. Just checking my notes as you do so 
as we head down here we come to the first area now this is all part of the section that i said you can purchase so this is all people's homes and so all this land can be bought so if you wanted to add some bits and bobs on but again it just and i like the fact it kind of it feels like it goes on and on and on when you get close obviously those come up but it does when you're looking across it just feels huge i'm not going to say it so continuing in south down into the well i was to say the town but yeah the city of elma So we've got some extra productions. Oh, I need to put some money in. That's what I was going to do, wasn't it? Oh, I think we might be able to do it from... I'll borrow from the bank to start off with. So, the first place we come to here... is the Tomato Ketchup Factory. <laughs> Which is very, very cool. I like this. Just bear with me. I'm going to put some money in. There we go. So if we come over here... We can buy this production plant for 40000 Click on that. We can produce ketchup. Tomatoes and water is all it requires. And you can produce ketchup, which may, be, may or may not be needed later on. It, it will be, if you want to do some of the other productions. Um, so putting in is done... Oh, no, I don't think putting in is done there. Yeah, putting in is done here. Produ Manage production there, and then our pallets will spawn just there. Let's hop out around the other side of this building. I should be stopping at the stop sign, sorry. I know I'll get in trouble. I'll get letters. <laughs> Turn in here. We've got popcorn. If we buy that for 60 grand. Popcorn or butter popcorn. Now, this requires dried corn. Not just regular corn, dried corn for doing popcorn. Butter popcorn, dried corn and butter. As you might expect. And we can get the two different sorts of popcorn out. I like that. Now, there are a lot of American maps out there. And some really cool ones. And I think this is up there as a, as a very cool one. It just has a very wholesome American feel to it. I, 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 like I say, I don't know what it is about it. I suppose because... Not that it's a stereotype. A stereotype is a stereotype because you see it a lot. You know, those things that you see a lot, it becomes a stereotype. And because it has that feel, it just it works. So... Here we've got the methane cell point. So if you're producing methane, which you can produce at the biogas plant, we'll get to that later on, um, you can sell your methane here. And then we've got the gas station point here. So the gas station point, we can purchase um, fuel, as we normally do, but we can also purchase propane. What's cool about this, if you use one of those tankers, and I tested it because I thought I needed some because I was going to try something else, um, you get like a, almost a, 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 not a hissing sound, but like a transfer of, of propane gas. It's, it's it's hard to, to explain but anyway yeah so you can buy your propane here we come out from here i did just suddenly wonder if you purchase all of this land i haven't seen any i'm just worrying about the greenhouse thing i don't know why i'm worried about the greenhouse thing that i haven't come across one but i'm, I'm sure it's been done by the map maker so it doesn't over clutter the map and they're not set in places that you don't want them so you can they are there available you can place them everyone we've got a car wash just here with jet washes inside on the outside as well so if you want to come down and jet wash your vehicles good thing with this is you can do your cars and stuff here people are queuing to get their vehicles done if you've got larger vehicles you can bring them through the outside you haven't got to worry about the cover so that's the uh, the car wash oh blimey i didn't even see that I was looking at my notes. Oh no, you're joking. <laughs> well, that went well. I hope the town's got a, a recovery vehicle. The Good Samaritan. It was at the car wash, came and gave me a hand. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Anyway, heading up the hill. Town's fire station, just there. Placeables point to our left. That's so, so fire department. Oh, fire protection district. Cool. Um, yeah, place pause point to the side there. To our right, we have got the livestock animal dealer. So, animal dealer, 
and livestock market bales. So that's your animal dealer, and then you've got your bale sale point just there. Oh, that's what I meant to say. Well, I said about the extra crop types, um, the rye, peas, and alfalfa. I didn't show you, but now if we go into no, this one here, and we come back up to under cedars, if you look to the bottom, you can do your peas, your rye, and your alfalfa, so you can seed them, all three of the extra crop types. If we go to planters, we can plant rye. So if you want to do all three, you can do it with cedars, but the, the planters uh, will do rye in addition to. As far as harvesting goes, it's a regular header that will do your peas and your rye, but the alfalfa is a grass, so the alfalfa needs to be mowed um, collected with the forage harvester, however you want to go about it. All the various different things you can usually do with grass. Uh, so mowers and collectors of various different types. Um, I'm assuming... I'm assuming it can be baled. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. It doesn't say alfalfa bales, but yeah, if it's a grass, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. So we do have a railway. We'll talk about the railway in a little while when we get to railroad silo. It comes in on this side of the map, the west, and heads out to the east. In that direction, we're going to cross over and we're going to head round the back, I think, was it first? Just thinking if I missed a cell point. Oh no, this is the diner restaurant cell point, round the back of the diner slash restaurant. I'm just going to whiz across the road. Because across the road, no, that's not the right one. Across the road here, I want to go to. We've got the dairy. The, the um, drop-off point is around the back, but this is a production chain standard dairy. The bakery, however, is a little bit different. If we come to the bakery and click on that, we can buy that for 60 grand. So the bakery, bread, cornbread, cake, pumpkin pie, and sweet cornbread. Various different combinations that you will require. Now, this requires corn flour for cornbread and sweet cornbread pumpkin i said about needing pumpkins for doing pumpkin pie um but also over here you've got corn flour and you've got fine corn flour so we've got a few different productions added in i've never had cornbread i've seen it on films again i've, I've seen it and it always sounds delicious so it's not something i've ever had the opportunity to try anyway that's the bakery and putting in and the um Pallet points are around the back of both of those buildings. We're going to drive past those in a little while anyway. We come across the front and we pull in just here. Avoiding the curb if we can. Production chain here. This is the pizzeria. If we buy the pizzeria. We can make pizza. Flour, ketchup and cheese. We can make pizza. Add the production chain. We've got the tailors which will take your wool or your cotton and make clothing. Oh no, then across the road, we've got our vehicle shop. Vehicle shop. And we've got our workshop trigger for the vehicle shop, the garage. It's just here. The reset point and the point where your vehicles will spawn is around the back. And this again is one of those kind of... I don't know, it makes it... gives it an American feel. I don't know why, why I'm getting that feeling. But it's that... Like you see in the old western films as well, where you've got the facade of the town. You go down the main street, you've got all the fronts of the shops. Everything's fancy, everything's, you know, there to show you all the wares and everything that's available. The saloon and all that kind of stuff, the general store. And then when you go down the side of the buildings around the back, it's, it doesn't need to be ornate. It does, it's just very, it's functional, it does a job. And that has that feel. You get that feeling this is built up from an old wild west town into what it is now. I, I just, that, I don't know, that's just the feeling I'm getting. Anyway, um, so yeah, the reset point and your point where your vehicles will spawn is around the back here. On this open area, plenty of room, loads of space, no need to worry. Not that you were worrying, but you know, just in case. So, from here... I'm going to turn down the back we've got the grain mill now obviously the grain mill from what we've seen already is likely to be a little bit different I'm thinking I was talking about a new let's play I'm wondering whether or not this might be it you know 
Anyway, so grain mill. Buying the grain mill for 96 grand. When you buy the grain mill, wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, corn flour, or fine corn flour. So, for the corn flour, you require normal corn. For the fine corn flour, you need dried corn. So again, another reason for the dried corn. So how do we make dry corn? You may be wondering, well, right next door to that. You see the propane tank just there? I said about you can buy propane. Now, until you purchase this facility, I bought propane over at the gas station. I drove over here and started to unload it and I got paid for it. So as far as I can tell, this is just a propane sell point until you purchase the production chain here. If you buy the production chain, then when you bring propane in, it just fills up the propane tank, which is what you need. So propane in, production chain just here. This is your corn dryer for a hundred grand. So our corn dryer, corn and propane, dried corn out. So for the various different things you might require your dried corn for, I mean, you can just sell the dried corn. Actually, that's a good point. I never thought to check that. Let's have a look and see on the prices menu. Uh, our corn price regular, standard at the moment anyway 651 645 628 so mid sixes let's see if we can find dried corn is it worth more for doing the extra work on it oh yes it is <laughs> so buying that facility you're doubling your money yes it'll take a bit of a bit of time to recover that money but if you're doing big fields of corn it's well worth drying it down well worth drying it down Oh, hang on, what did that say? Oh, livestock. I thought I misread, misread that. I thought it said lucky something. Was it lucky? Sell point? No. So, as I said, as we drive up across here, you've got the drop off points and the pallet spawn points for both the bakery and the dairy. They're around the back of here. Then we come round the front of this facility. No, we don't. Oh, yes, we do here. Um, this is your main sell point on the map. This is the grain sell point. We come through and out the other side. We've got our rent train point, which is just here. We can rent train for a thousand per hour. I'll rent it. And then you can have a look at it when it arrives. Oh, it's actually not far off anyway, that's pretty good. Um, putting in and taking out of the silo is done here. So you can just use it as a storage silo, like a cooperative grain bin silo storage unit. So putting in and taking out is done here, but once it's in the silo, if you want to use the train, you can put into the silo from the train or take out from the silo on the train and send it off to be sold. Train... Hang on a minute, that was on 607 metres, it's now going up to 6.4 kilometres. Are you jerking me? Never mind, well while we're doing that, where does the train go to? Let's go to the map and I shall show you. Well, I will show you. Oh, here it comes. Not 6.4 kilometers at all. Um, it goes out the other end to Sedalia. I will put up on the map on the, on the screen now a little map I found because I was I was curious. I was trying to find Alma and where it was in Missouri, and then find where it was in relation to Sedalia. I have to say, looking across, I'd love to live in Missouri. It looks fantastic. Some of the place names are just wonderful, amazing. And what was really cool as well between Alma and Sedalia, there's a place that Celie E.G. would absolutely love. There's a town called Emma. She would love it. She would absolutely love it. Anyway, so I just thought I'd put that up just to show you. Um, so the train, main train, grain and sort of crop cars out through to the back. We do have a lumber one and we do have a flatbed car out there as well. There's your train. Not overly massive, but enough to get the job done. Actually, something else I want to check. Let's go down to our cell points and we'll go up until we get to things like furniture. Oh, that's interesting because I did wonder whether any of the production chain of things would be sold to Sedalia. And I know some people have said before on maps where you've got trains, the trains don't always like pallets, but it's not showing as a sell point for any of the production chains, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, the diner restaurant is the place that takes pretty much everything. Um, I was looking for wood. Oh no, that's interesting that the train's got a lumber um, car, carriage, um, but there's no sell point at Sedalia for it. 
So I'm assuming it's just your regular. Oh, there we go. So wheat, barley, oat, canola, all those kind of things. So the main crop types can be sold out to Sedalia. Anyway, let's send the train back. Now remember, all of this land can all be purchased. This is all part of the same plot, which is the bit to the south as well. So if you want to add in extra production chains, if you want to add in extra silos, whatever you want to do, you can put it all on here if you want to. Plenty of room, plenty of space for, you guessed it, activities. Now, we come to the first of the farms. Now, this is not the start farm. This is the second or the third. It doesn't matter. There are three farms. Again, arbitrary numbers, but this is the first one we're coming to. And I love the fact that that's it. We're out the other side of the town and, and residential, and then we've got a farm. And then we're on to this, these kind of dusty, gravelly, dirt track roads. And, but it's little things like this, little details, different sorts of fencing. And, and again, I know there are lots of maps that have specific... I'm just... Well, this is the one we're looking at. So, where are we? Are we? And where have we been? We came all the way down from here, took in all of the lovely stuff down here, all the bits around here. We came out here, and we're now at this point here. So, plot 35, 294,948. If we do that, that, and that, we get our trigger for sleeping, which is actually around the back of the. I love this house. That's one of those views, is that kind of farming rural America. You've got the farmhouse, you've got a cow, and then you've got the grain silos in the background. That kind of rural industrial mix. It's, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's the matter with me today, but anyway. Loving it. Unfortunately, the garage doesn't open. But around the back is where you've got your sleep trigger. Just around the back there. And then, actually, what we'll do, we'll drive in the... Uh, In the gator. So as I said, I haven't found a farm with a silage clamp on it. Um, what I like about this as well, it's just... I'm not sure whether or not these can be removed. Are the other farm... We'll check it in just a moment, but anyway. Um, this is a lot of like old bales and we got sort of... Rusty cars and things that have been collected over the, over the years, but anyway. Um... This is the cow barn, silage point just here, or slurry point should I say, slurry point. Feed trigger and bedding trigger just inside there. Water point just out there. Dialogue box is just here. And when you've bought this farm, you do have 50 cows already. We've got 25 brown swiss and 25 holsteins, holsteins, out of 100, potential 140. So if you buy this farm, the cows are already here. We do have some of the modded sheds put in by the map maker with shed lights not dry through open one end and a nice large bar on this side as well with a side door side door included no extra fee which is very nice so what I'm going to do now let's go into build mode and let's just check something let's go to demolish so all these things here Ah, oh, yeah, brilliant stuff. So, they are all on here as a decorative object. This is a really nice feature as well. So, again, you can do a storyline. You can simulate. You're bringing, I don't know, equipment. The local scrap dealer or somebody, or you're going to burn all these, I don't know. But you can, if you want to then add new stuff. You want to put a silo. You want to put silage clamps. You want to extend anything. You can remove them. I like that as a feature. There's a lot of maps where you do have things like that and it's just not removable and I know people have very strong feelings about rubbish and debris and things left um, before I head off I'm going to put some money in because I need to buy the um, the final farm and I don't think I'll have enough to do that um, but what we're going to do from here we're going to head onto this road here we're going to whiz all the way along here to the start farm so I will see you along that road in a moment, having put some money in, so we can uh, 
we can buy the final farm oh and the biogas plant when we get to there as well we need to do that but yeah that transition again onto this dust road I, yeah. it works for me it works I might have put in more money than I needed <laughs> possibly a lot more money than I needed never mind hey guess what this has got nice undulations it's a nice sweeping map variation in landscape and again I like that separation between the town on one side of the map where all the hubbub and all the stuff is and then you're out into the countryside and it feels wide and open but not flat and you know I'm not saying there aren't places in the world that are completely flat um, but there's a lot of interest that breaks up the landscape and the countryside and I like that and it feels like you're going a long way as well so anyway to the main farm Batman So as I said, this is the farm you start with on New Farmer. Slot count we can talk about now. It's, it's, it's up there. I mean, the megabyte download, but you can see why. The level of detail on this map is, it's another one of those ones it can be easily overlooked. Because you drive around thinking, well, there's not a lot on the map. I mean, the main town area, and like I said, the detailing, the texturing, but things like the culverts and all the, you know, and again, it's not specific to this map, but you can see why the megabyte download is, is up there, considering there's not a huge amount of extra required mods or anything like that to download. Um, but the, the um, slot count on New Farm is 1,500, which is up there. It is fairly high. Um, on Farm Management Start From Scratch, it comes down to 1,094. So a big jump down. Big difference being, as I said at the start, on Farm Management Start From Scratch, you don't have any of the farm buildings on this farm or any of the vehicles or machinery. And it will look like this. So something to be aware of. But you can get the slot count down lower if you wanted to because the other two farms on the map on Farm Management Start From Scratch do have their buildings. So if you wanted to buy those plots and remove buildings from there as well, you could probably get the slot count under a thousand if you wanted to. Anyway, Sleep Trigger, lovely house. I don't think the garage opens here. No. These guys like their basketball. There's your sleep trigger. If we head up towards our, I'm not even. I always used on a map tool, grab a basketball and have a shot, but no, we've got too embarrassing. Not doing it. <laughs> we have our grain bins with our augers. We've got our case maxim harvested with corn header. See, corn something I haven't done. I don't do a huge amount of. I used to do big silage harvest, and that's why I was thinking of this map as a new let's play. So I thought with being able to do dried corn and then doing the corn flour and the various different products of the bakery and stuff like that, doing some big fields of corn and it just appeals to me at the moment. I don't know why. Um, we've got our header and header trailer. It looks like that might have fallen off there. Anyway, they're both here. They can be put on. Um, we've got our trailer and like I said August for the bins. Now we have got a 3609 bin in the middle sandwiched between two 3608s. Say O, 3608. Not O, O is a letter, not a number. 3608 and 3609. That gives us a combined total bin capacity of 3,060,000 litres uh, from three bins. Now, these are standard grain bins, these aren't multi fruits, those are the standard in game ones. Um, what I will do is we'll go into, now we'll go into this menu and I'll show you on here. This is all our owned vehicles and machinery. You'll see it as we go around. It's all in all the barns and buildings, but this is all the start machinery we have on New Farmer. Farm management start from scratch. As I've already said, we don't. So. This is a nice big area. This as well has got um, some rubbish and debris and bits and bobs. Now as we go up past, that's the horse barn building. Um, there's some more up there, which oh, that's really cool. That's when I first test it. But you can remove this, the stuff from up there as well. But there's plenty of room for putting in anything you want to. So as we come into the main shed, this is where you're going to find most of the equipment and machinery, as you can see: planter, windrower, grasswork equip equipment, tedder, baler, mowing setup, cultivators. We've well, a seeder and a planter just there. 
John Deere just here as well. so we start with the um, case uh, Maxim in there we've got the John Deere C230R here and then we've got an older John Deere a little bit further around so this is your main barn building just noticed there's not a workshop trigger here at the farm Let's just double check no it's not oh, there's plenty of modded ones toolboxes and various different things you can add in but I don't want to miss anything but like I said I haven't seen a greenhouse I was looking um, we do have a feed mixer for total mix ration just here and this is your cow barn cow shed now this one is empty but this will hold what was this 150 I think it was 150 cows and then this little track here goes around in a loop and it goes round past the slurry pit so the milk point is by that door we'll drive back past that in a moment but if we do a loop around here the slurry pit is built into the hillside rather large as you can see so there's your milk point just now you can open the door you can go in there as well so like i said feed mixer i don't know there's nothing in it so i don't think there's anything in it and then we've got a john deere just here an older deer lovely then we come around the back of the cow barn to the sheep pen paddock just here this will do a hundred hey every american farm needs a red barn doesn't it isn't that a rule is that a law i'm not sure and then we got the horse building. Now, the horse building had me a little bit um, in a kerfuffle, shall we say. Um, I couldn't find a light switch. Not that it matters, it's probably automatic. This will hold 16 horses. Scratching post, very nice. It's a big old building and we've got an indoor training facility. Why is that saying turn on high pressure washer? What the... Where's that come from? I didn't even notice. Okay, I need to get back in my vehicle. Um, I can't get rid of it. What happened there? Let's get back out. Well, that's gone. That's gone now. Where did that come from? How odd. Yeah. Anyway, so as we go around, I went around all the sides, went in through the middle couldn't find them there is lighting here but couldn't find a light switch but anyway regardless of that there is one on the wall here but i couldn't get in it i couldn't find a trigger for it but feed points doors will open and close nice big old building now it might be you're not into your horses which is absolutely fine so if we go into our demolish, you can remove it if you want to. Same with any of the buildings once you're on the land. So if, if horses isn't something you normally do, or you might only do one or two horses, and you think that's a very large building taking up a lot of space, and you'd rather utilise it for something else, you can remove it. This map is nothing if not amenable. It's, it's very almost modular in, in that it's giving you the options. Like I said earlier, it's like, look, this stuff is here. It's here, you can use it if you want to. I'm not forcing it on you, I'm not putting it on the map, I'm not cluttering things up, but it's here if you want to use it. I do love that. That maze looks fantastic. So, I mean, that's what's making me like, I'm thinking, I just don't. I want to do maze. Big fields of it. So, we've got this section here, this little um, pond enclosed by trees, but I drove past these and thought, that's really cool, you know. When you watch the Welker Farms boys, they've got their their rubbish pile out where the grain bins are and there's loads of old metal and old augers and cars and trucks and, and they're trying to kind of gradually clear it out. Cole the Cornstar spent the last what five years trying to clear their farm of all the stuff that's been left and well that's cool you know you, you see it there and it must get dumped somewhere but I thought but if you don't like it so again we're going to here go to demolish this we'll get rid of both both are highlighted if you can see now do that you don't make any money from doing it but again, if you want to do a little storyline, if you're clearing it, you can. But again, you don't have to. You can just remove it if you don't want it. So, 
that's the main farm. What we're going to do now is we're going to head from here back out onto the road, all the way down to there, and head north, up there. Taking in the wonderful landscape as we go. So as we approach the crossroads, we're going to swing around and head north. Like I say, when you look out to the right there, we're right on the edge. That field is the last field, but it looks like it goes on and on. This is a really, really nice map. Really nice map. Field 9, one of the ones we start with on New Farmer. So, a biogas plant coming up on the right hand side. Now, the biogas plant has, um, as I mentioned earlier, digestate but methane as a byproduct. And those tankers that I showed you earlier on will take propane and methane as well as the other things um, in game. So you can sell your methane if you want to. So it's nice to have an extra product coming off there, an extra way of making money if you want. Oh, there goes the train. Um, way of extra, making extra money. Now, this plot of land can't be purchased on its own, but you do own the land once you purchase the um, purchase the barn gas pipe. Just thinking, there's not a silage clamp here either, is there? You could probably fit one in the back there. I wonder if we can take the fence out. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. So my mind's already ticking over. I'm already thinking. So, only 300,000 for the biogas plant. And if we go to the map, you'll see now that we own the land. You couldn't purchase that before, um, but you get it with here. And actually, you get that plot a little bit further on as well. So if you wanted to, you could smooth some of this out and add some silage clamps in here or just use it for grass or whatever. But you do own that bit of land just past there as well, which is quite handy. And we're going to build mode and go to demolish. Oh, that's worrying. So if you want to remove the fence, it removes the entire biogas plant. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bit, because I thought... Well, no, I suppose it doesn't really matter. You put your silage clamps wherever you like. Put them on your main farm. Um, so silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet cut. Fairly standard in. Um, the production itself, 24 cycles per month. The recipes are up there, though, I think. I'm trying to think. It's always difficult to tell. But methane and digestate coming out. There you are, outgrowing products. Very nice indeed. So, from here to the last of the points we're going to head to, and that's Farm 3, up in the northeast. We're going to cross the railroad track, just up here. Sort of map where you've got to have yourself a big old American pickup truck. A big old Julie or something, you know? So, farm number three. If we pull in just here. So we are now up the top here at this point. If we turn left, that will take us right back across to where we started and where the sawmill is. But this plot here, plot 10, which has field 11 and 12 on it, that will set you back 204,000. Again, not too expensive when you think about it. Plus, we get a silo, 400,000 litre. That's one of the modded ones put in by the um, map maker. That, like I said, that's a standard plus. So that's the standard crop types, uh, plus the ones added in for this map. We've got our sleep trigger just over at the house here. Again, I'm not sure, but I will double check. Oh, we can, brilliant stuff. Garage does open here. Garage, sorry. The garage doors. Uh, that one doesn't open, but we've got this barn here and this barn here.
Interesting, no lighting option that one. And then down here. The slurry point is just there. This is your pigs. 108 pigs can be held. At the pig pen. But again, you can move the buildings if you want to. Road down to the ford. I mean, like I say, I know I keep saying it. It's the lovely map. I, I you know... It's funny how you, you know, I do map tours, map tours, map tours, you know, you do loads of them, and, I'll, and pretty much every map I'm on is very rarely I'll find a map I don't particularly like, and there are so many maps you can't play all of them, and then sometimes you find one, and for whatever reason, I don't know, it just, it's, it's hard to quantify, but it just kind of speaks to you. American Falls is a fantastic map, and, and you know, again, there are loads of amazing American maps. I don't know what it is about this one that's made me go, oh, you know, I, I really fancy doing that, I don't know. Whoa! Okay, that was peculiar. I wonder if I should do some next one as well. I wonder why I did that. Oh, that was alright. Anyway, that's the map! That's Alma, Missouri from Celebuki. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. And if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.